it's uh, time for some news. Let's do it. Um, so big Oscar night today, guys. Um, the Oscars just happened, and the two biggest awards of the night were awarded to <laughs> Zack Snyder. <laughs> That's so stupid. He won sure. for the fan cheer moment, which is, which a, is uh, the Flash. Which yeah, the, it's a made up thing. But let's be honest, everything's made up when it comes to award exactly. ceremony. Oh, so yeah. yeah, I mean, none of this makes but, makes any ma- matters really. We've talked about this before and how they just pulled out random things yeah. out of a hat. Oh, it's like no specific category. So, yeah, like cheer scene. It's like movies across yeah. a, a decade. What else was nominated? nominated. Uh, Avengers, mm-hmm. Avengers what, Assemble. What the on your right was the mo- oh no, the it was, Avengers what, Assemble the, the decade. Pocket. Yeah, and then the No Way Home, Spider Man's getting together. Spider Man. Um, okay. And then the Matrix. The Neo. Matrix. So that's Neo. The two decades. Thing. And oh, then so it's, um, it's like two decades? three decades. Dream well, Girls. Ninety nine. Dream yeah. Girls or something was one of their. Wait, anyway, so, so yeah. what was the what was the time span of like? It's just whatever. Like, it was just whatever. cheer moments. Like it, it makes you cheer. Yeah, yeah. Movie yeah. Time? We and talked about this before, and I this was upset is what about it. is amazing, guys. <laughs> anyway, the Flash, reversing yeah. time, Speed Force. One, and so they had a little montage during the Oscars of like five through one. And as it was going, I was like, "Oh, Zack Snyder's Justice League isn't on here yet." Boom! It hits number one. Everyone cheers. Everyone cheers. haters. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone cheers. Will Smith yeah. out there. The <laughs> Everyone cheers. Yeah. The cry? haters. <laughs> the, the Zack Snyder haters across all the Twitter began to mind. lose. Ex- like mind explosions were happening. Tantrums were being thrown. Has gotten to the Oscars um, ever. <laughs> and so that happens. And then about 30 minutes later, they do uh, the fan favorite movie and they start po- posting them, you know, Spider Man's number three. I'm like, okay. Cinderella's number two. Once <laughs> I saw so Cinderella stupid. number two, I was like, Army of the Dead. Boom. Army of the Dead, number one. So. I'm saying the fact that Matt, Cinderella beat Spider Man is like it's crazy insanity. That's well, the, here's yeah, that's the well, the fact that Army of the Dead is number one is the <laughs> well, most that's, egregious that's the craziest thing. thing. But, yeah. but here's the thing. Now, yeah. say what you want about like there's it's not stupid. like it's but, it's stupid. But Spider Man's better than those. But, but this is what I'll say. What this kind of proves is that is there's that, a lot of Russian bots out there. Twitter, no, no, no. That no there's way. that there's a big fan base. No. Or how can we or, quantify uh, wait, it? Wait, 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 wait. Or a, at least a passionate fan base for Zack Snyder. Now, what this does is that says yeah, because that. because this yeah. is what we can say. James Gunn was out trying to get the suicides. It wasn't even in the top five. James Gunn was doing all this stuff. Other directors were doing it, and it didn't work like Zack Snyder did. So what I'm saying is, with the merger coming up, these kind of things kind of play an important role in whether we're going to get more Snyder. And yeah, like I said hurt. today, uh, Clay Staub. Tweeted two pictures that were sand, and he had some quotes in him about that what the future holds. Coarse sand. and rough. <laughs> well, what <laughs> the future holds, and there was a little picture of um, Ben Affleck's Nightmare Batman, and the other one was the Snyder Cut film little reels that were in the posters. So, again, like I said, in my mind, this is the same thing he was doing before the Snyder Cut was announced. I, I again, the flame is rekindled. It's always been kindled, but now I just think it's going to happen. They're going to announce that Zack Snyder is going to come back to do his Justice League movie, um, too. Well, then with everything with the merger, yeah. And so I, 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 I just I, think, honest, I could honestly see it happening. I think this only brings more attention to the fact that there's a groups of fans that really love this stuff. Yeah. And the um, David Zaslav has said they want to do what the listen to the fans. So fans are calling for this. Put your money where your mouth is. And do it. Restore the Snyderverse. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's all I got to say about that. The two most important <laughs> Oscars. <laughs> Dune won. Uh, Hans Zimmer won for best score for Dune. Yeah. Um, um, I think his, the is biggest... Is second Oscar? Because he won for Lion King, his, right? Uh, I thought they said it's his first Oscar, actually. No, he won I for I thought Lion I saw King. that. Pretty sure he won for Lion King. Look it up. I'll go through the things. Okay. Um, best Picture, Coda won... Um, Best actor Will Smith. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Best what a actress, slap in the face. Jessica Chastain. <laughs> best original song, No Time to Die, which is actually a pretty good song by Billie Eilish. It is, yeah. Um, it's really good. Best animated feature, Encanto. Um, live action short film, no one cares. Um, <laughs> international feature, no what one cares. What is that what it's called? <laughs> Belfast. Uh, <laughs> Kenneth Branagh won his first Oscar for best original screenplay. Oh, nice. Um, He's an Oppenheimer. <laughs> I know he is. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, that's why so, you brought it up. <laughs> um, Dune won several of the like sound mixing and design and all that kind Visual of stuff. Effects. Visual effects, cinematography, um, which yeah. is uh, same cinematographer for the Batman. Batman. Um, but I think the biggest moment of the Oscars, besides uh, Zack Snyder winning, yeah. close <laughs> second to that, was uh, Will Smith uh, up and slapping uh, Chris Rock. Um, yeah. And we were talking, we, this is a great moment. Like, I, I mean, no one watches the Oscars. No. I was watching for the Zack Snyder stuff and I got treated to Will Smith slapping <laughs> that guy. Um, so it's pretty intense. I, I really want to see what the ratings boost is because after that as, point, as soon as you said Will Smith got slapped or Will Smith slapped, I was like, what? And then I turned it on <laughs> and I was like yeah. waiting to see. I think I caught like the end because I saw the documentary Q tip yeah. one well, quest love or yeah, quest love. <laughs> uh, but, and then I was like, watched it after that. Mm. And I was like, Oh, let's we'll see what else happens. <laughs> Although I'm curious to see, I bet like, cause I was on social media, like everyone just started posting it. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if they're like, they, you just see a huge spike on people that actually started watching from that point forward. Um, I guarantee you, cause it, it was, it was trending on Twitter. It was Will Smith and the Oscars. And I guarantee you it went boop and then boop. <laughs> Cause it's like, well, there weren't any more slaps happening. So <laughs> I guarantee you, yeah. back down because no one watches TV. Well, like, oh, now the Oscars are boring again. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there's but nothing else. I'll, I'll kind of disagree a little bit because he slapped Chris Rock and then he was up for best actor. So yeah. people were wondering if he was going to win. Like, what would he say if he was on stage? And then he That's won. True. It might have a little bit. Um, but so when he won, 90%. then he gave his speech, you know, um, which everyone was like, what's he going to say? Um, Garbage speech, so, by the way. Uh, to each his own. He mentioned Denzel Washington. Bro, <laughs> you just slap someone in the face and then the he, host of the, the host show. that was. Oh, no, he wasn't the host. Oh, I was like, what? Well, he's one of the hosts. One of the hosts. Was he a presenter? presenter. He oh, presented? Uh, okay. Amy Schumer was the host. Okay. So. And he slapped Amy Schumer. <laughs> yeah, he slapped Amy. <laughs> I mean, every, every single host. cheered, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? No? No. Okay. No. No. Too no. far. Some people I, can see why, I can see why you're on Will Smith's side yeah. after you commented like that. I just that. don't like comedians. Anyway, the, the point comedians. is, in his speech, he was like, I'm just out here to protect people. I'm protecting I'm, the ones I'm, I'm called, called to I'm love. Called to I'm love. called to love. Hey, guys, you guys, I, I don't appreciate the mocking tone comedians in, in the face. Sorry, do I have tears running down my face, too? That's because he was crying. <laughs> and if, in case you didn't watch it, basically, Chris Rock was giving, he was talking he about. He was presenting, presenting an award. award for documentary, and he yeah. had some jokes. He basically just made fun We're of not funny Will jokes. Smith's wife and... Called her, oh, I'm excited for G.I. Jane or whatever. G.I. Jane 2, yeah. Because yeah. she had her head shaved or whatever. Yeah. How but, bad would you have felt if it turns out she was actually like... Had well, cancer so she has, she she has alopecia. So yeah. she... she Has yeah. hair loss. She has uh, hair loss. So oh. it's... That's... Uh, so that's I'm the pro, reason. I'm you're pro gonna, you're pro I'm pro-Jonah nah, 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 nah. on this. And here's... Yeah, so here's the thing. messed up. So Mick and, and Josh... Or outraged that me. this happened on live television. Think yeah. of the children. The children are watching. No, it's Maya that. was watching no me. Said that. No, um, no, 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 no children okay. are watching you. Well, well, anyways. Mick, Jonah and Mick and I did not say that. Okay, well, anyways. Stri- strike it from the record. <laughs> uh, it has been struck. <laughs> um, anyways, so, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm seeing a lot of people, like, on one side or the other, either, like, praising Will Smith or being like, how dare, like, this is the worst thing ever. Like, and to me, it isn't a big deal. It's... I think specifically because Will Smith were acting as if Chris Rock is just like a random person. Will Smith obviously knows Chris Rock. They probably had conversations. They probably done stuff. But there's probably stuff that we don't even know about. That doesn't make it any that doesn't better. Make it no, but I'm, what I'm saying is, if there's an issue with something, or maybe there's been stuff with his wife and Chris Rock where they've gone back and forth about stuff, and then this was like. He was making a comment, and Will Smith was like, man, you keep doing this. I just think there's more to it than just, like, what we're watching, like, oh, how oh, dare he? So even, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Even ahead, if Mike. there is, you don't step up in front of the whole the show. World. The, the world. The world. It's a... Or however few many people watch What's well, broadcasted worldwide. <laughs> yeah. You don't do that in front well, of the whole show. Didn't, didn't they censor that's, it? That's, like, crazy. Uh, yeah, they, they did. Censored well, they censored it. They censored it in the U.S. Yeah, because the US he said... See it. Keep my wife's name out your mother yeah. mouth. Yeah. He yelled no, it twice. He said it twice. That was it was crazy. pretty cool. And that's when it, that's when it got real. Everyone was like, "Oh, this oh. is this isn't a joke." It got it's actually really, really awkward. Yeah. Well, guys, I will say I will say this. Like 
I'm sure he's got his own stuff going on. Yeah, right? absolutely. That does not excuse you walking on stage and slapping another person in the yeah. face and then not apologizing to him mm-hmm. publicly. I don't know if he did it, uh, but still, then you're like, oh, sorry to the Academy for doing that. No, no, no. See, you're jumping to conclusions because here, here's the thing. He's Will's, just saying what we I'm were just, presented I, with. I said he didn't apologize publicly. That's what I said. Okay. Am I wrong? <laughs> no, but he here's didn't the say, point. Sorry for slapping you. But here's the in point. In the face, Chris Rock. He doesn't need to. <laughs> Why not? He slapped Chris Rock. He needs to apologize to Chris Rock. He doesn't need to go in front and put it on Twitter. Hey, the rest of the world, I'm apologizing to Chris he Rock. He apologized to the Academy. The fact that he slapped him publicly probably means that he should apologize. No, publicly. he doesn't. No, he doesn't have to do that. What? If you wrong somebody, you go and talk to that person. We don't even yeah, know he, if he and went. He wait, that's what well, he should have done in the first place. Well, he should have talked to Chris Rock instead of slapping yeah. him. But you don't know if that happened. Talk to he, him did, he walked up and slapped him. Okay, instead but what of I'm being saying, like, hey, Chris Rock, maybe don't say stuff about my wife. Next okay, time. but yeah. what I'm saying is the whole aspect of him apologizing, like he may have found Chris Rock backstage and apologized to him because 45 minutes passed between his speech and it's nobody's business to be like, okay. hey, that's that's my whole thing. So the reason he apologized to everyone there and he apologized to the Academy is because the Academy is a bunch of people. So he doesn't have to say, I apologize to Chris Rock for that or whatever. That's none of, that's none of one's business. He can go and talk to Chris Rock. Like I said, he probably has a relationship with Chris Rock. They're well, both celebrity. Conclusions. No, because you they've had <laughs> no, they've okay. done they've done roasts together, they've done things together. They, hearsay. There's, it's all hearsay. So for me, it's like <laughs> he doesn't have to get on stage and be like I apologize to Chris Rock. Who are we? Did he take? He doesn't. He, the Twitter people don't deserve to. I don't care about the Twitter people. To that. I'm just saying you did something pretty crazy, and yeah. he apologized to the Academy and said, "I'm sorry for doing that," and he, to the people uh, there. Did he take responsibility enough. for his actions? I no. I you don't all, know that. I no. And his apology? I think all this. He was like, up. Mm. yeah. The character I played he was, was like, like this too. Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess, I, I'm, I guess like I'm a crazy dad. Yeah. Oh man. And he is like acting like he's some Hope righteous, back next righteous uh, protector. That's it. I'm, I think he's going off the deep end. Now look, I like Will Smith, but I what do. he did, like, that's just, it's messed it's up. It's crazy. That's messed it's up. crazy what he did. You can admit that. It's crazy, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. We see things like, uh, to me, it's like, it's made to this whole thing. Like, this is absolutely insane. How dare he? To me, it's like, it's a guy in the heat of a moment defending his wife. From and a joke. It's a joke. Okay, but it doesn't matter. If my brother is saying something about my wife that is probably hurtful and he's making fun of my wife, I might go up and slap my brother. Lauren and I Lauren and I fought <laughs> my Austrians. brother Lauren and I were working out and we fought over a soccer player. And the fact that I like Josie out the door and Lauren didn't. And we argued idiots. and we fought about it. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Corey was there. We were working out P90X. Mm-hmm. Lauren threw me into the wall. I threw him into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just saying, like, sometimes, Will Smith's not the only sometimes one people have bad days. And sometimes people don't. You get them at the wrong time and they, they snap and they make a mistake. I just think that's happened he didn't kill the guy. He didn't pull out a gun. Didn't shoot him. He didn't insult his their family. <clears throat> I just think he was, yes, made a mistake. But I don't think it's as big of a deal as people are making out to be. Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing is that we're all human, and in the heat of the moment, people make mistakes. But he's an actor, so he should be perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but should be able to mask that. Better. The funniest thing is you guys are all like, "Oh my gosh, you shouldn't have done that." Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Yo, if I'm Chris Rock, I'm like coaching." Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he yeah, no, they have a relationship. Money. They have a relationship, bro. They don't do that yeah. kind of stuff. Right? <laughs> Cha-ching. That's what I'm thinking, bro. I'm like, he's making money off this. It's just a slap. It. And he got assaulted, and everyone saw it. I mean, assault. That's assault, brother. I'm. I'm, I'm I mean, chilling. he's gonna. He Will Smith like is gonna champ. have to give him his Oscar. Props to Chris Dude, Rock, Chris though, Rock for took like, like carrying a champ. on. Dude, he did take he it like a champ. champ. He got a little awkward, and he was kind of like shaking. At Why the are you hating on Chris Rock here, bro? I just don't understand <laughs> why you guys are like, man, like as if Chris Rock is a victim. You guys do realize like some of the things he said have been like atrocious, he's terrible a, things. He's a comedian. I know. But what I'm saying is like, like when did they slap Ricky Gervais? 
he goes on the Golden Globes when they invite him back and he trashes everybody and okay, everyone laughs yeah, it up. That's fine. That's fine. But you when I'm saying... You laughed at Ricky Gervais before. Like, he's hilarious. Yeah, and now you're like, Chris Rock says terrible no, things. No, I'm not saying... Why are you guys defending I'm Chris Rock? I'm not saying that. I'm saying he's a grown man and you guys yeah. are pretending as if like this is the worst thing that's ever happened to him. No, he's probably had worse things happen to him. I'm but, not saying uh, it's the, the worst, worst thing that's thing. ever happened there, to him. I'm there, just you're putting just, words in my mouth. I'm saying what Will Smith that is crazy. No, I'm just saying... It is crazy, but it's what not you a big guys deal. Think at home? It's not a big deal. Was it justified? <laughs> Did he do the right thing? It's not. I a never big said it was justified. It's a big deal? No, I don't think it's like. I don't put, think put it's more. Situation in any other situation. I mean, he slapped somebody. Yeah, but what a I'm saying, a colleague, a coworker, if you will, maybe. What I'm saying is at like a black tie event. Okay. In front of like it, thousands of it people. Happens. If this happened at a work picnic, it would be a big deal. <laughs> no. It's the same thing. It happens. If it happened at every, the spelling bee, it would no, be the same situation. It happens, it's crazy. It happens every time in a soccer game. People get slapped in the face all the time. It happens. A contact sport. It, that's totally a con- different. That's a stupid, that's a that's different totally context. different. Guys slapping other guys in the face happens all yeah, the time. That's a sport There's where fight. you're fighting it against happens, each other. It happens at. Little League baseball games. That's with a sport. It Contact happen- sport. Yeah. But what I'm saying is people get in fights all the time. It happens in grocery stores. It happens everywhere. Like the fact that just because these people are celebrities, we have to be like, oh, my gosh. No, they're humans. They make mistakes. Will Smith made a mistake. I'm not denying that. But to act like it's like the worst thing we've ever seen, like to me, is a little bit it's nuts. the worst thing bad. we've seen on the Oscars. <laughs> yeah. No. When they when they announced no, La La Land no. is the best <laughs> picture, that was another funny moment. Uh, but it's not the worst I, thing. I would be interested to see a like a public poll on the public's uh, viewpoint on this because I wonder how people thought it of it. Do do they think Will Smith is a bad guy, or was, like in Chris Rock is the victim, or w- are people pro Will Smith defending his family? Like I'm I'm wonder I wonder what the public eye. Uh, their their opinion on it. I think is. you publicly go after a person's wife, and you should expect that may something like that may happen. I'm just saying. Like I think Chris Rock. Come on, not, dude. You're so thin skin, brother. I thought, I'm thin skin. Yeah. You guys are the ones who were clutching your pearls. You made a joke. Like, you made a joke. You gotta you gotta stand up. <laughs> You're on the, you're on team uh, Punisher Will Smith. He's gonna go around slapping everyone that makes a joke about I'm his on family. Team, I'm scared of being an I'm on team his, now. his family's a joke. Let's I'm, be honest. I'm on team. I'm on team. Will Smith has never done remotely anything that you would say is bad. He's been a good influence. Is the first thing thing team first thing first thing <laughs> tell he, the truth. First thing he has ever <laughs> tell done. The, truth. the first thing that he has ever done that yeah, would be and like that's outrageous out of character and crazy. Yeah, no, that's what we're saying. Like, but you guys are making it, it seem like how dare he? How dare you do that to Chris Rock? To me, it's like I don't care who he, who he did it to. He <laughs> walked not, on stage and slapped somebody. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't I don't blow your mind. Deal. No, it blows my mind because I'm like, oh, I can't believe this happened on live TV. But it's uh, to me, it's not a big deal. Like, it happens. Guys get in fights all the time. It happens all over I the realize world. Realize that, but like, this is like a specific such, scenario. Such a yeah, a specific scenario. It happens scenario. all the time, and this is the seventy something Oscars. More than that, and we've never seen it happen before. Yeah. That yeah. seems a little strange. Yeah. Jonah, it's a, Jonah's saying it's about dang time. How many exactly? I mean, he, I think people, people. If you people met, you mess with someone's wife and talk about her, you should. Let's look at deserve to be slapped. All the award shows, the <laughs> BET show <laughs> awards, Oscars, Grammys, Tonys, whatever the heck, MTV <laughs> awards, Have you ever VH1 the awards. Jerry Springer show. That's a show. And people are they were handing out? S- they, be slapped, be are they handing out all awards? Hundred percent. Hey, I don't know if we want to talk about Jerry Springer and Jada Pinkett Smith in the same sense. No, but what I'm similar situation. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, to me. I don't think it's it's two grown men. They that had right a little. There, al- they had to an altercation. The, it was at the Oscars. Celebrities two are grown not men. Right there should be like no slap is like why Will Smith should have manned up and decked him. Lauren and I fought all the time. Grown, like, grow up. grown men. <laughs> no, it's grown men fight. <laughs> like if you're in a it, hey, you it, love, it you happens. love in the segment, I hate bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Corey, give it, we've already said you what guys, we're gonna say. Yeah, awesome. So, wait, I get to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, bro, just tell, you're the just, you're the judge the, right here. No, you're. Just you're the voice, the voice of, of reason. reason. Okay. Jinx. Jinx. Voice of reason. You're stupid. You're <laughs> <laughs> voice of reason says, even though this video's main title is the Oscars, the Oscars are stupid. And awards are stupid. Agreed. Yes. Um, but uh, uh, the altercation, uh, it's hilarious to me because Will Smith 
He's going to have to pay money. That's it. Done. He got to slap a dude, but it's going to cost him thousands of dollars. He don't care. He doesn't care. He's rich enough. So That's right. Uh, me, he's I'm like, great slap Avenger. me. Uh, G.I. Jane, slap me. <laughs> Please. Like, that's me. <laughs> I wish you'd slap me. Gosh. Um, I can zoom for thousands of money. Let us know what you think. If yeah. you see the slap, we'll put it in the comments. If you agree with Josh and Mick and you're clutching your pearls or you agree that it's not a big deal like Have I do. Have you noticed how he's mischaracterizing us uh, multiple times? Like all the time. He likes to slip you in. Did the oh, they, were, they totally said this. You did the same thing. You did well, I said that. A little more. Well, <laughs> what do I mischaracterize? It's 1v2 and you're, you're, well, playing, yeah, you're fighting an yeah. uphill battle. Just, like yeah, it. he's got his back against the wall. I feel like I'm fighting two moms cheap shots. that are worried about their kids You know, seeing grown men slap each other on live television. I don't care. So um, that was the Oscars. Yeah. Awesome, awesome talk, awesome talk. Um, was there anything else? Yeah, that was, so, the, that was um, the end of it. Christopher Lloyd, um, <laughs> Doc Brown from Back to the Future, has been cast in um, um, Mandalorian Season 3. Yeah. Um, we don't know what character, mm. um, but that's, I mean. Crazy old guy. Oh, maybe it's Grogu's dad. Dude, He'll be probably s- be some, like, random mechanic or some alien dude. Uh, I think they're like, oh, that was Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> do you think they'll do... He'll be actually Christopher, or yeah, Christopher. He'll Lloyd. actually be Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, the no, actor. Not the actor. <laughs> How did I get here? You think he's just a voice, or is he going to be? I think he's going to be like. I think we'll see him. A Mandalorian, okay. old warrior. Like, I think they're going back to Mandalore. <laughs> slap him, Mick, I think slap he's going to be one of the, uh, one of the with a slapping. I think he's going to be one of like a man Mandalorian character. He's going to take his helmet <laughs> off. Jonah, they, they he's going to take deal. his helmet off and uh what it'd he, be him. He's the armor. Boom. He's Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. But he's his is a little incorrect. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's got room for room up top. Cuz I think they're going back to Mandalorian. I think they're going to the the mines underneath, yeah. and he's gonna be baptize cool. himself. Were you being serious about him being a Mandalorian? Maybe, yeah. Oh, I could not. That would be the worst. I cannot make him as oh. a Mandalorian, as an old one that's down there. It's been down there forever. They don't. Oh, even Mando! Put oh, it down, Mando! Like an old spiritual guy. He doesn't always play that character. <laughs> uh, pretty close. I wouldn't buy it. Just saying. <laughs> He'll be like the the old knight in Last Crusade. I'd, He's like down there go. forever. Yeah. He could. He <laughs> could be um, Tar Vizsla, the first there Jedi you Mando. There you go. I don't think he. Yeah. I don't he know. could be riding the Minotaur. Minotaur. What's the Minotaur. what's the um, Mythosaur? Mythosaur. Minotaur. <laughs> um, Just a dude. He's like. <laughs> hop on, hop bro. on, bro. <laughs> Marty. Bro. Let's go, Tommy. <laughs> um, that was all I had. Okay, Do you guys gotcha. have anything else? <laughs> <laughs> for that, that was the Oscars or that was just news? <laughs> that was for the news. That was news right? okay. We didn't have much. Uh, <laughs> what else do we have? We were going to talk uh, about Halo. Halo. Oh, yeah, the Halo show. Halo. Yeah. Halo. Episode one dropped on last Friday? Uh, this Friday. I think this Friday. Was yeah. it. Uh, it was like this Friday, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Everyone was talking about a moment in that show on Twitter. Everyone was tweeting about it. Oh, that's I, It got spoiled for me because I was just like scrolling through Twitter and it showed a video of it and I was like, it's weird. And we'll just do. Oh, you guys just want to talk spoilers, right? Because we're not really going to yeah. go. Yeah. We just. If you haven't seen. Well, we're just going over our general thoughts yeah. on, on Halo. I don't think this is going to be. There's a not really thing. that much. Yeah, spoily to go on. What did you guys think about it? Us three watched it, Jonah. Yeah. Um. Didn't. Busy. I think I've said before. I. I <laughs> <laughs> I've never really played the game, so I'm not like that, like knowledgeable about about okay. the world. But I mean. For a first episode, it was okay. Um, I think it got me kind of interested to see, like, where they're going with it. There are some things that happen in the show that I wasn't expecting because in the game it's, like, a very specific way. So there's definitely some differences there, which is – it's interesting. Um, I think Master Chief looks really cool. Yeah. And he looks straight out of the video game. So same with the uh, – what are the aliens called? The alien. Oh, the Covenant? Covenant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. I, th- <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think they look great, Zerg. too. Um, I don't know what the budget is on it, but it looks looks good. Yeah. I think for me, the CGI was a little hit hit and miss. I will say the Paramount, the Paramount Plus. Uh, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he was like, the when hands looked the really, che- the hand looked really the- cheap in the, in, the, in the trailer. When I saw the trailer, I said it uh, looked cheap. And yeah. Josh was like, 
And now that he my, says it looks it, a little cheap. Let me finish. The Paramount <laughs> Plus app on my TV is trash. Okay, uh, mine's bad too. It's so mine's bad. Mine's really bad. So like half the time it was like on our weird aspect ratio. And it wasn't, it was like 10, 24 by something. It was really weird. I had to restart and then it was only like 720p and it was really like, mine not also good. looked like way oversaturated. Yes. I don't know if yours did that too. But. So it was hard to tell if it was bad CGI <laughs> or if it was just the streaming service. And mine buffered a lot. So I had to like wait and then like see kind of a bad quality a little bit yeah. and then it would get better. Um, so it wasn't the best watching yeah. experience. I think the aliens were fine. There was one where, with a weapon. It looked really cheap when they slid it across. That was the only thing that I was uh, like, yeah, that looks yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, but overall, like the Spartans look sweet. Yeah. I think th- their intro was really cool, like mm-hmm. them showing yeah. up and they how they make them look different. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that was really cool. Uh, overall, I mean, I thought it was good. Like I wasn't like blown away, but I was like for a first episode of a sh- show or a game that I haven't played in forever, yeah. um, they were plenty of things that I was like, well, that's interesting. Yeah. Like, hmm. Felt very much like Halo Reach vibes with, with Master Chief there at the helm. I agree with you. The CGI did feel cheap for me. Um, there are several moments, as, this especially in the intro, because there's a lot of fighting and mm-hmm. death and stuff like that. But I don't know if, like, maybe I'm, like, imagining this, but every time I saw someone get shot or, like, obliterated by a gun... It looked like they used the same like leg graphics for every time like half their body got chopped mm-hmm. off or blown off. They probably did. For me, it's like <laughs> it felt like you could see like a little red, you know, uh-huh. inside, and it's like done. And then they same like go After the Effects next. stuff. Yeah. So that's what it felt like to me. I thought the best part was were the Spartans. Yeah. Um, I think there's, and I knew this was gonna happen, but the little nods to details in the game and introducing that into the actual like series. That's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not like a huge winner for me. I'm just like, okay, it, it did okay. Yeah. yeah. And and the point that um, everyone was tweeting about, this is a spoiler technically. It's just the first episode though, so stop if you don't want to know this. But they did reveal his face. Yeah. He took off his helmet, and he's a weird-looking dude. It's just like kind of an <laughs> ugly-looking dude. So, <laughs> you know, he's, I mean, he's battled, well, torn. Like, yeah, the guy's yeah. messed up. Like, not messed up, but he's, like, war-torn. <laughs> so, he, you know, he, you know, he's... Definitely needs Will Smith to slap him. He definitely... Uh, so... He's no Pedro Pascal. We'll say that. No, no, no. Missing them. Well, I guess he has. Um, a lot of people were outraged by it. A lot of people were like, why is he lifting his helmet? Why are they doing this? He's never been revealed ever. And yeah. so that's what is against Halo. Yeah. And I initially was with them. I said, yeah, that is kind of messed up. I Why didn't they save this for a great reveal? This feels like they they blew it too early. Um, so I'm okay with them doing it. I'm just kind of disappointed that they did it on the first episode. Do you think... Do you think they changed it because it might have felt too close to Mandalorian? I don't know if they changed it, but to me it does seem very similar that if they're like... Oh, he never takes his helmet off. He never yeah. takes his helmet off. And then yeah. they take it off. It's like, I mm. mean, technically, yeah. I don't think he ever should have taken his mm. helmet off because it's just, I mean, probably. Yeah. It's just not yeah. true to the character in the story. Yeah, I think so yeah. it's like they wrote their own new thing. And it's like maybe the actor like had a clause where he's like, I need my face because he knew yeah. the yeah. Pascal situation. Well, um, friend of the show, Jordan, baseman extraordinaire, um, we were talking this morning and he he asked me if I'd watched Halo. I was like, no. And that's the he's like, oh, it was pretty good. He's like. But I don't understand why that was his big complaint. He's like, why they he took his helmet off? And so, to me, it doesn't make sense if that's the big thing about your character. It's and not. The, though. And the, it's but, not. It's but just, what I'm saying, it like, just happened to be that way. But what right. I'm saying is, if the ki- if like people that are fans of Halo kind of understand yeah. that, like, who's really the target for the show is Halo fans, right? Like, I would assume because I. I, I'm not the target. I don't know. Um, and I, so they I think might be trying to get they more want, people in. They want a Mandalorian situation where it's like, yeah. well, yeah, people but, that aren't even Star Wars yeah. fans watch Halo. Yeah, but wouldn't yeah. you think that the first people you want to make happy are the Halo fans? Like, yeah, but that's, that's where you job. that's where you start. But it's the same thing with Star Wars. Like, mm-hmm. you start with the Star Wars fans, make them happy. They'll talk about it. Other people will watch. I think that's the same thing. So it seems a little weird that if that's something that's been a part of Halo you know that's going to upset yeah. Halo fans. But is there a reason why he doesn't take his helmet off in the games? I mean... Or is it the fact that has, it's a first-person shooter? He has taken his helmet off. You just never, never see, see his face. Yeah. yeah. So but that, should have had that's him. also a reason for the game, though, because yeah. you're like... Yeah. 
you're the single player playing as this right. person. So they yeah. should have had him take we his helmet off, and then like people, whenever yeah, it's going to reveal like a his filter. face, like someone else is face. like walking by with a yeah a lumber, case or lumber. some lumber, yeah. and he's like talking. Oh. And every time, like there's someone like he's like oh, Wilson like, from uh, yeah. yeah. There's like a fence there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they should have done. Hey neighbor. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really care. I was just kind of like, oh, it's an interesting choice. And yeah. when I thought about it, you know, you're talking about getting fans or the greater people, you know, enjoying it. I think that this does more. It's a wider net. I think that yeah. when someone who doesn't know Halo, who doesn't know Master Chief and the history of that, they'll probably ask, why don't we ever see his face? Like, they'll probably ask those questions. And I think, I think when it comes to seeing faces and stuff like that, like, Statistically speaking, things just do better. Like yeah. they get more views. People relate to them better because it's a human face. So I think that's their justification on on it. I don't know if it's right, but yeah. I think that's basically their justification. I was like, well, they need a human face to kind of pair with the main character. Mm. So. He, the, so I just saw stills of the actor. What mm. other shows? He looks really familiar. He's in 13 Hours. Yeah. 13. Okay. That's what he. Yeah. I will say uh, kudos. I, I think his voice is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, it's tough to kind of, it's not tough. He's like a, you know, we're, you know, gr- you know, gritty, tough guy, but like my voice, but his voice is good. Not like you. Yeah. <laughs> More like Josh's. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, fellas. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's my good good hey, that's, that's my news. cowboy voice. Oh, <laughs> this, is my, cowboy. this is my tough voice. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Uh, this is my Will Smith slapping voice. <laughs> oh, I, I did like the little nod to like. He gets shot, he loses his shield, and he ducks behind <laughs> cover, <laughs> and you hear the sound, and yeah, it's like... All the, and all the sound like, effects are the same. It's really cool. Like, I haven't played that game in years, yeah. but I was instantly like, yeah, I recognize I that. that. It's like, he gets lit up, and he's like, I gotta hide behind yeah, let something. Me hide back behind That's exactly bit. what you do in Halo. Yeah. Wait for your, your overshield to yeah. come back up. He's and jumping then, yeah. around, throwing grenades. <laughs> we saw the, sh- the swords, too, came yeah. out. Energy sword, yeah, it was good. Yeah. I, I think you could you can tell where they put their priorities on the CGI. Like, yeah. The Spartans, Master Chief, and then like the tech that matters that's iconic, like the energy sword. Yeah. And I think the, what are they called? The bad guys? What are they called? Uh, the Covenant. The Covenant. I don't remember. The, Zerg. the Covenant was fine. Yeah. I think it was fine, at least in this first episode. Um, I also liked how much they killed people. Like it was yeah. like real. I was, was dang, I was not expecting those Everyone type of deaths. Everyone is getting wiped out, like, like obliterated. <laughs> yeah, dude. And it was like, quick do they respawn and they were like younger kids i was like dang dude they're like taking all these kids out i'm like yeah yo hey respect they're you know they're doing it yeah i kind of like that because it was like similar (laughs) to like like you would imagine when aliens come and start blowing people up you know what i mean it's like yeah you imagine that's what it's gonna look like so when it happens guys yeah none of us are safe that's right watch out for the covenant but yeah, so that was episode one of Halo. Um, I don't know. W- what would you guys just kind of give it just on the off the hip? Based on your description, mm, 4.2. So a dislike. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it was like a 6.5 for me. Yeah. I, it was yeah. A, I thought it was solid. Um, there wasn't anything that I was like, eh, why did they do that? Or that's terrible. It was like, a, okay, that yeah, was an entertaining yeah. episode. There's things that intrigued me. How long are the forward. episodes? This one was like almost an hour. Yeah. Mm. I don't, I don't know, know if that's what, yeah. It wasn't something that I turned <laughs> off. I, I watched it. I enjoyed it to yeah. some degree. Not a ton, but I was like, oh, <laughs> it's all right. It's not bad. So like a six, <laughs> six, two. Like that. So the, I enjoyed like it endorsement. to some degree. Not a ton, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's good. I like it. But that's the thing. None of us were like, this is awful. Yeah. Like with most yeah. like video game adaptations where you're like, this is terrible. Why did they yeah. do this? Um, like, Dragon Ball. Was like legit. The moment you see those type of shows, and you're just like, "Oh no, we're not doing so this again." Bad. Yeah. I didn't have that moment yeah. where I was like, "Oh, this is atrocious." Because I, I feel fun. like they got a lot of things right. Yeah, it's just so. me not being that big of a Halo fan. I'm not there to like catch Nitpick. all those things. Yeah. I will say, at me. I would probably rate this worse if I was really looking forward to it and my expectations were higher. I had zero expectations. Yeah. In fact, I probably had negative expectations. I was like, "They're going to screw this up. This is going to be terrible." <laughs> But when I watched it, I was like, oh, it's not bad. Yeah. So did um yeah. did it set up anything that you're like, oh, that's a cool thing that to look forward to, or is it just kind of like, huh? Like, is there something they set up that you're like, okay. Uh, like did it end on a cliffhanger that it, was it, mm, it, it ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. It, it definitely sets up like a big conflict. But like, is it yeah. intriguing to you or is it just kind of like, huh? 
it wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah. So I guess it's kind of interesting. I am interested. Sort in, of. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. Uh, I I am interested to see how they actually progress the character because I don't know in the in the games he's a pretty like uh, linear type character for very me. Very one dimensional. Yeah, and so you kind of know what he's going to do, and so I'm not sure what they're going to do with this character in this series. I don't know how. Do we even know how many episodes they have planned? I don't know, actually. It's like a 12-er or something like that, but no idea. I guarantee you the next one's going to be like 30 minutes or 25 minutes. It's got to be shorter because that, that's kind of what people are doing. They're doing big boy intros. Yeah, like a season premiere. And yeah, then, and then a finale. Yeah, that'll be interesting to it, see. Yeah, I'm interested to see what, that, what they do with that. But is it going to be something I look forward to every week? No, but, you know, hey, maybe, maybe like the, the first episode was the worst episode. That would yeah. be cool. Never know. But, mm. yeah. but yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I like and I like space uh, sci-fi <laughs> shows. <laughs> I, like, I like sci-fi shows. So like another sci-fi show yeah. is like, oh, cool. I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I like space. I like space. <laughs> Better watch that. I'm gonna go Will Smith on your. Ooh. Gonna slap you. <laughs> We're gonna have a bonus video. <laughs> If you enter the giveaway, you'll see Josh slapping. Joe. Why yeah. does he slap me? You both slap He's against it. I'm for it. You know they have a sport. Yeah, you're convinced you're me. Have you guys yeah. seen that? You're fine. You like to see how it feels. Have you guys seen that slap sport? They go slap. Oh, dude, oh, yeah, those, that's great. Those r- Russian, Russian dudes. Russian are just yeah, insane. Crazy. I don't know if we can say that anymore, but <laughs> I don't know if we can say Russia. Those um, guys are crazy. Oh, the last thing I had was, um, I mean, it's not really news, but Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, the Borderlands, the fourth Borderlands came out this last week um i think it came out on wednesday or something like that but me joby and uh james have been playing it nice and it's been really fun i think it's probably my favorite borderlands to this date wow. um it's and you know why it is it's because the theme of borderlands oh, yeah. i never was yeah. like super sold on with the whole mad max style <laughs> it's always been like funny sure but like this was funny and really well written um and the theme of it's just super good. Um, with the whole like RPG D and D aspects of it, like yeah. some of the collectibles is basically you find like D twenties that are hidden around the whole world, nice. and you get it and it rolls a D twenty, and if you roll like really high, you get better loot off. Oh, of cool! It. That's cool. And um, there's always been aspects of like specking and kind of like specializing yourself in your class that you choose in Borderlands, but this one you can actually multi class, which is a theme of D and D. So if you like another class and you're like, oh, it's really cool how they can do that spell or whatever, you can multi-class into that. So you have two different classes. <laughs> so you become a, a hybrid class, basically. And so very fun, very fun. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've enjoyed it a lot. Actually, we played up until just the last boss. It's not a long game. But we all decided we're like, ah, we want to try different characters. So we actually started have started over and we're going to try oh, to nice. beat it with the new characters. And so... We've been on the hardest, the insane difficulty, Ooh. and it's uh, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, maybe I'll check it out. I've, I think I've played all the previous ones and I've enjoyed them. Yeah, I think if anyone really likes that D and D kind of like adventure, like like if you liked uh, what was that? What was that Pixar or, or movie? Onward. On if you like Onward, <laughs> like kind of like that RPG feel, you know, they, they, you'd like this um, a lot. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, we played a, a decent amount of that, so that's cool. Been fun. Sweet. Is that all we have? I think that's it. Okay. Um, I think Moon Knight is coming out this coming week, right? No, nah, nah, really? I think so. Dang. That's Pretty crazy. Sure. So uh, if I'm wrong, like, sorry, really? but yeah. if and I'm Mor- right. And Morbius is coming out. Morbius really? is also coming out. Which <laughs> like, really? Reviews are we terrible be, uh, for that, by the way. Yeah. They're saying it. Yeah, It's getting torn apart, but. Really? Um, we'll, I think we'll have some reviews for both of those coming out. So, uh, make sure you guys watch those and so you can hear a spoiler talk, both of them. Yeah. Thanks for uh, listening. Thanks for all the support. Um, just, uh, any place, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, like I said, we would really like to interact, um, with you all. If there's any things you would like us to discuss on the show, um, you can, Leave us a comment anywhere on YouTube or on our socials and ask us a question or ask us to interact about something. And we'd love to do that. So um, thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see you next week. Absolutely. Bye. See you.